In Islam, we believe uh, Islam means submission and surrender to God. And we believe Allah is the creator, which is not like creation, like anything we see and observe. So Allah uh, tells us that he is one. He doesn't have any partner and he's independent of any food, any sleep or any drink. It doesn't apply to him. And there is nothing in the creation or nothing else we know that comparable to Allah, the creator. Does that make yeah. sense? And then he sent, you know, he created human being uh, to a purpose. And the purpose is to test them so that Allah will reward the one who is grateful and punish the one who is not. Yeah. Very simple message. And then he sent prophets and messenger uh, from Prophet Adam. He's a Muslim, Adam, the first man. Abraham was a Muslim, means someone who submitted to God and worshipped God alone without giving any, you know, uh, gratitude. So in Islam, we believe if you worship other than God, the worship is in misdirected way. Imagine, what's your name? Adrian. Adrian. Adrian, I, you given me 10 pounds, right? And I start thinking, huh, is that fair on you? No. So that's what we say in Islam. Allah is the provider, the creator. Imagine like oxygen, the water we drink, and the blessing that we have every day. Just think about the eyesight. Even if I, if I give you, let's say I give you five million pounds condition, I want your two eye. Would you give me? Yeah. Five, two eye you will give me? Yeah. Five million pounds? Yeah. Are you sure? No. <laughs> See? See? So that, the, no, I, no, that, that how, this is what the importance of the favor that Allah has given to me, us. So though the eyes, we cannot grow by ourselves. It was given free. So we don't own it. It was given to us free. So imagine the one who given you free. That being or the entity wanted to take it from you. Do you have anything, any complaint about that? Yeah, you shouldn't complain see. because it's, it's, it's not belong to you. So we say Allah doesn't need your worship. We should worship him to be grateful. Even if you don't worship Allah, yeah, it will not belittle Allah. Right? It will not increase him or decrease him. But the moment you associate partner with him or giving thanks to someone else other than Allah, we say this is the biggest crime that anybody can make. Imagine everything you receive and every, everything in the world, you just rejecting that. And not only rejecting it, you give in the share of worship to someone else that doesn't deserve. So that's why when Islam said this, all the prophets and messengers remind people that all people, Allah created you from a drop of water. And then one, one day you will die and you will be accountable for your affairs. Nobody is dying for you. Every soul will be accountable. Allah said, Wala taziru wa wizra That every soul bear their own accountability. Adrian, I'm not taking your sin. You're not my taking my sin. Sisters, you cannot exchange your sin with no one. Allah will ask you. And Allah appointed two angels. Every human being, Allah appointed two angels. They are writing. Now imagine what we are discussing. These things also been recorded. So everything in this world, nothing is secret to God. He's watching every. Everything has been recorded. And this life, Allah tells us again and again and again sending prophets and messenger to remind us that this life will be over soon. How many people we, we missed in the COVID time? How many people? Yeah, A lot of them from our family, close relatives, they're gone. They can't come back. And Allah said, you know, if you don't do your stuff here, you'll have to face the consequence. And Islam, we have heaven and hell. That's two things. Very simple message. Allah is not beating around the bush. Plainly and clear, plainly Allah is telling. If you obey Allah and his messenger 
And if you wish for the mercy of God, follow Allah. And Allah will show you mercy. If you don't want the mercy of Allah, then you can choose the path of ungratefulness, disobeying God, then you will be your own self-destruction. Means you will choose the path that will lead you to the hellfire. Allah is not telling you to go there. Allah is constantly reminding you the Quran. It tell you, I have created you from nothing. Why don't you, why don't you, are you, do you think good and bad are equal? Do you think day and night are equal? Why don't you reason? So Quran constantly reminding you, asking us to engage in the message. And the moment we see that message, we can straight away relate that. Indeed, this is the message, message of Allah, my maker and the maker of universe. And then Allah wants to tell you that, then it's a serious message. Yeah. Do you see? So do you have any questions so far what I have said? No. Yeah? Oh, no, it's been good. Yeah. So in order to be a Muslim, one someone must submit to God. And submit means not giving you money, not giving you wealth, not writing the will of your property to someone else by just uttering two statements. Saying there is no God worthy of worship means you will only worship Allah and you are not going to give any share of worship to anyone beside Allah. And then you acknowledge just Prophet Jesus Moses, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them are the messenger of God. Once you utter that statement, that means you become a Muslim. Do you know much about Muhammad, peace be upon him? Pardon? Do you know much about Muhammad, peace be upon him? No, not really. A little bit. What do you know? No, Your prophet. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Not really. Well, Adrian? No, I can't remember. What was in your subject in Ari? Which which one did you guys choose? I didn't do Ari. Oh, you didn't do? No. I didn't do very good in Ari. What about? Ari was in different religion. Ah, okay. Okay. So, Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, is the last and final prophet sent by God Almighty. And the messenger, Allah sent messenger to send a message, right? Messenger always come with a message. You don't find any messenger come without a message, right? If a postman comes, he's bringing with a letter with him. So same way, Muhammad peace be upon him brings a message that not a new message. That message has been already communicated by the prophets. But the message sometimes get corrupted due to the desire of human being. So Allah revealed the message to Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, to tell people to worship Allah alone and not partner with him anything as time goes by instead of worshiping Allah they started worshiping the community started worshiping Jesus Christ himself right so we have know that from the incident that people worship him some people believe him is God some people believe his son of God some people believe he's a prophet of God some people believe he's half divine half man now when you have all those confusion who can relieve you from confusion? What do you think? Who can relieve you? The, Bible. the God Almighty. Because God Almighty is watching it, right? Yeah. And He is saying that all of us are in confusion. So it is necessary upon, it is a right of us that we should receive a message from God to clarifying what is the truth and what was false and what was happened, right? So Allah sent the Quran to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, clarifying the telling that Jesus was indeed a messenger of God. And Jesus never asked people to worship him. And Quran addressed this. Um, let me open it for you. Oh, it's already open. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you this chapter number five. Yeah. This is a very interesting verse, yeah. Uh, 116, yeah. Verse number 116. Uh, yeah, so here. Do you want to read it? I think it's better. Can you see that? And beware of the day when God will say, Oh Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, take 
me and my mother as this sight beside God. He will say, excited are you. Exalted. Uh, exalted are you. It was not for me to say that to which I have no right. If I had said it, you would have known it. You would have known what is within myself. I do not know what is within yourself. Indeed, it is if it is you who is the knower of the unseen. So Allah is talking about a... Allah is talking about... Uh, Allah will ask on the Day of Judgment. So, before I read this verse, I ask you, who knows the knowledge of unseen? God, right? And God knows of the future, what will happen. I cannot tell what will happen tomorrow, but God knows through his ultimate knowledge, right? So, Allah is telling, he will ask Jesus Christ, son of Mary, that, oh Jesus, did you tell people to worship you and your mother beside me? And then Jesus Christ will reject and he will say, he will say, exalted are you. It was not for me to say that to which I have no right. You see? Yeah. See, he knows his limit, right? He didn't say. So that is a testimony. If I had said it, means if Jesus said that thing, Allah would have known it. Yeah. So he's reminding, yeah? So you would have known it. You know what is within myself. Means Allah knows what is me, but I do not know what is what is Allah? Because Allah's knowledge is not like human knowledge, right? Allah can know us, but we cannot know what is within Himself, right? It is you who is the knower of the unseen. So Jesus Christ straight away attributed the knowledge of unseen belongs to who? Allah only. So now imagine you follow as someone, right? You are following someone. The same person will reject those people and that would be an irony imagine you followed me and after a few days when the trial comes and I said I don't know you I didn't tell you to do that why did you do that then the blame is on you you can't blame me so whoever following Jesus Christ and worshiping him Jesus Christ will renounce them on the day he will say I didn't tell you why did you do that so that is the ultimate message that now, Muhammad, peace be upon him, so he said, you know, the same message, Abraham message, worship Allah alone, no give share. And this life is temporary, you know, life will be end very soon. We don't know our date of death, but we know our date of birth. Imagine if we knew our date of that, it would be horrifying. We'll be counting how many days left, right? And we'll be depressing ourselves. So it's Allah's divine wisdom that he didn't tell us. Otherwise, we'll be, you know, we'll have anxiety and depression and knowing that how many days I have left. So the message is very simple. Now, what would you do if you come, if you receive a message which feel truthful to you, which you know truthful, what would you do? I don't actually know. Would you not follow it? Yeah, maybe. Depends on what, yeah. What will stop you to not to follow? I don't know, my, myself. Yeah. But if it's scary. Yeah, myself. No, what, one is scary, another is truth. Yeah. There are a lot of things in our life which is truthful, but we are scared. But you cannot deny the truth. Can you say truth is false? No. No, truth is truthful. Truth. Even if we don't like it, truth is truth. Now I ask you, would you accept Islam? Yeah. Knowing that Islam is truth. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How about you? Think about it. Think about it. Maybe have read through it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Look at everything. Yeah. I don't how about you? You guys are very sincere, honestly. You know, and I must stay today. Yeah, and and appreciate that you are listening to me. But I, I think this is a very serious message we are conveying to you. That as a young man, and look, Islam gives you the ultimate solution of your life, of all of our life. Islam has teachings that will make you a better person. 
Do you know any of the teaching of Islam? Um, there is certain things that you shouldn't eat because of um, like the rules that have been put out by yeah. Yeah. Um, Allah. Mm. And then there's certain things that you like, shouldn't do like drink yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Do you think it's good or bad? I feel like in some ways, yeah, in some ways it could be interpreted differently, such as like um, taking away a free will but as to, for you to decide to do something for yourself, but that's also deciding whether you want to follow. Um, yeah, very good point, yeah, yeah, very good point. So there's two points here you mentioned. So first of all, we need to identify who created us. By definitively Allah, the creator, right? Do you have any doubt? I know someone, someone is there. Just need to figure out who. But do you agree with Islamic definition of God that I have given you? Yes. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense, yeah? So that means the God is unlike man, unlike creation, right? Who knows you? better than you who knows you better than you who allah then he if he tells you something you should do and you shouldn't do what would you do because obedience we in islam obedience is fundamental to the worship because first of all before you you know you have to accept the message right and you have to be obedient right similarly in, in class teacher wants you to be obedient and listen to the command right so <clears throat> second point is free will right I can achieve. there are things we do out of our desire but desire not always leading you to the truth like for example someone say look I love drinking, right? I find pleasure. But the following day, he regret. Why? I shouldn't have drunk. In pain. In pain, right? So Allah said, that means desire. Yeah. So Allah said, you know, عَسَىٰ أَن تَقْرَهُ شَيْيًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ عَسَىٰ أَن تُحِبُّ شَيْيًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ So basically, let me paraphrase that, you know, there are things you will like which is bad for you. But there are things which you dislike, good for you. Alcohol you like, you know, but it's like not good for you. Vegetables. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So you see, Allah given you principles so that you can think. And um, so now, you can see the wisdom behind those commands, Adrian. What would you do? Allah tells you not to do. Do you do? Do you disobey him or obey him? I wouldn't do it. You don't do it? Probably obey. Obey him. How about your life and everything Allah given you? Do you not feel that you should be grateful? Yeah. How should we be grateful? The following question. Now we know we agree that we should be grateful to Allah and we'll follow the command. Follow? By following what he says. How do you know that? What should we follow? No. What well, you've been taught. Taught by who? By of, messengers. Like messengers. Yeah. Why messenger? Because they are the only ones that truly know. What they are the true guide. Imagine. Why did Allah send messenger? So that other people know about. You should the follow them so that you will follow the correct route. Hmm. In another way, God is saying, do not follow any other. Because those guide, you know, are self guider claiming to be guide, they will lead you to the destruction. Like, for example, if you follow movie celebrity star, you know their life is no happiness. Yeah. They're pretending, yeah? So if you follow them, are you, are you, and, yeah, truth. are you not following the truth? And ultimately, the peace is not there. 
you know like few months ago uh, there was a court trial in america there was two celebrity star you know they have issues did you guys heard no. johnny depp johnny depp oh, yeah. yeah oh yeah and amber heard is that in the trial a lot of people followed them like the blindly right nah? as if they are prophet but imagine Johnny if Depp's you follow the sacks so I follow them yeah but what about Johnny real life you got real life yeah. you can't take them an example that's why god sent messenger why so that you can follow the correct people these people never cheat lie and they tell you to good and they showed miracle and prophecies means they they predicted something that will come into past come into future and it has been proven then what else you me and everyone needs to believe in them we have the issue of role model at the moment and that's why allah sent messenger so that you don't follow someone else you follow the correct message so you believe Allah is one. Yeah. You believe Jesus Christ is a messenger of God? You believe Muhammad is a messenger of God? Yeah. Then all three are you know, you have a Muslim belief. You already uh, have Muslim belief. Would you like to actualize the Muslim belief? What does that mean? Sorry. Means to become a Muslim. No. Big decision? Yeah, it's a big decision. Yeah. What, what do you think what will be problem for you? I don't know, I just think Are you thinking good. about wearing head scarf and all this? No, it's no? just it just feel like it's a big decision to make in your life because mm. it creates so many changes mm. for you. Mm -hmm. like But that is family. Yeah. yeah. I'll stay with Catholic. Yeah. I'm changing my religion. No, I mean, look, no one is forcing nobody, yeah? yeah? what i have said no, you no it's okay thank you yeah now when you die me you all die are we taking anybody with us no you just take yourself so when i'm considering my decision based on some people but when i'm going they're not there so are we really going to take them on your decision making no no it's not that it's just that it's like there's mm. so many changes that you have to make so yes no you won't be able to eat certain things you won't be able to drink certain things mm. and i feel like that complete you, yeah it will change it's a complete total change totally. of your life but you know the truth is allah is watching yeah. you yeah so we need to be obedient right yeah. obedient is the one who listen what allah said no yeah and what allah said yes to follow it right If I give you 10 pound you'll be grateful. Yeah. What about Allah giving you everything and telling you to abide by his law? You know that oxygen you have taken today yeah. just today. Get to be grateful for that. How about heartbeat? Yeah. Heart about how about the blood circulation? How about the water you drink? We don't give thanks. And thank you should not be like how I want to thank you. Thank you. We should be how Allah want it. Imagine your mother loves a certain type of chocolate. Would you give a different chocolate? No. So Allah yeah. legislated a way. Now I think Adrian. Misbehaving. <laughs> nah, yes, sir. Now I, I, I think um, if if uh, you know Allah wants a certain way, why should you reject the right of yeah. God? So, yeah. sister, one thing I'll tell you. make your own time have read about it but it is true that we will one day die and will face our lord are you going to sacrifice the eternal life for the temporal enjoyment of this life this is a big 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 queue yeah yeah and you cannot guarantee that how long you will will you live and me how long will i live so i need to choose whether I need to obey Allah knowing that he is providing me. You know, what's your name sister? Sky. Sky. Sky, you know, you are grateful to your you know, when she gives you something you give thank you. But just imagine we think ourselves good, isn't it? We think look I'm good, I'm good. But are we really good? How do you know the ultimate good? When we become good to creation and the creator. Yeah. Now imagine 
you give thanks to everyone but rejecting Allah's right are you really good then no so that's why we islami we invite people to do the greater good which achieved through worshiping Allah and giving rights to the human being yeah. so I have conveyed the message clearly take some time Adrian have a read the Quran never too late you think today you know I wanted to follow my my way but you are not sure we change our decision as time goes inshallah you will read God willing you will read and if you love Jesus you know Jesus said inna Allah rabbi wa rabbukum haza surat mustaqim yeah Jesus said Allah is the creator Allah and this, is the only God you guys yes and Allah follow the straight the path God. so on that note you know thank you so have a think about it and this is is a very serious message because it involves with heaven hell hell and Allah said you know I I don't I I don't want my servant to enter in hellfire and Allah keep encouraging you to follow the path that will lead you to it eternal success which is in the paradise and Allah said Khalidina fiha abada you will be stay there and forever and Allah also telling you not to follow the path of destruction by rejecting the rights imagine your worship will not increase or decrease Allah but if you don't do so you become ungrateful and that ungrateful will be your own self-destruction because you chose to path of ungratefulness therefore when the destruction befalls on you you cannot blame anyone other than yourself so I asked sisters and Adrian, before too late, don't delay, have a read. Islam is rise, rising. Do you know why it's rising? Yeah, it, it given you the true concept of Allah and truth. And it's provide the solution for human problems. The society is failing in every aspect, economically, politically, socially. If you look at the teaching of Islam in every aspect, it provides the solution. Think about just banning alcohol. It can eliminate the problem of the society. If you look, go and look at the NHS da data. Just due to alcohol, how much money? See, you know it already. So, sister, on that note, I wish you a lovely evening for you, all Thank of you. you. Have a lovely evening as well. And just think about it, rather than taking just a normal message. Think about seriously, because it's a serious message. And remember to ask Allah. If you are in doubt, ask Allah. Say, you know, if you don't want to say Allah, just say, Oh, creator of the heavens and the earth, guide me. And surely Allah said, Whoever looks for me, I'll surely guide them. Right? So on that note, I say thank you to thank you thank to you guys. You well. Look after yourself, yeah? Thank you. Too. Nice to see you. Thanks, thank you. Bye bye.